When you choose a bench or a box for hip bridges or hip thrusts, you wanna make sure that the height lines up well with your knee. So it should be about knee height, not too much higher or lower. The reason for that is because we want a straight line from the knee to the hip to the shoulder at the top of that hip bridge so we can get to a fully shortened glute. Position the box directly underneath the shoulder blades and your knees should be stacked directly over the top of your heels. For glute bridges, we're using a smaller range of motion than hip thrusts in order to keep more tension in the glutes throughout the movement. So we're gonna drop the hips down only as far as they'll go while keeping the knees still in line with the heels. As soon as the knees start to travel back, then you know that it's time to go back up. Notice how I tuck my hips here slightly as I'm getting into the movement. And then as I do each rep, I'm dropping the hips, but I'm also allowing the upper body to follow. So it's like my full torso is a board that's just pivoting on the edge of my bench. We wanna keep the hips tucked slightly throughout the whole rep. Feet should be angled slightly out and placed just wider than the hips. At the top of each rep, we wanna be getting full lockout. So a straight line from the knee to the hip to the shoulder, no matter how hard it gets, as obviously it is getting pretty hard here. 